Hey everybody, how's it going? Tim Eister here and welcome back to Bixton in City Skylines 2. In today's episode, I'm going to be working a little bit all over the city because I have a ton of buildings that I've unlocked in the last couple of episodes that I need to plop down. And the first building that I'm going to start off with is a disease control center, which offers minus 25% health effects from pollution citywide and minus 25% uh, disease infection risk. So that should greatly improve the health of our citizens. Now, the only problem is I'm going to have to relocate an entire neighborhood to fit this building anywhere near downtown. Um, and the location that I've chosen is right over here, I think. I think this is going to look cool, uh, but let's see here. So I think it's going to look cool because this neighborhood is kind of like a weird shape. And I, I always kind of had a problem with like the street layout over here. Um, so I'm sort of going to fix this this episode. Hopefully, I have no idea how this is going to work uh, because I haven't really rehearsed any of this before starting this episode. So unfortunately, this whole neighborhood is going to be demolished. It's a terrible day for the citizens who live in the area. But, you know, sometimes that's just how these big urban renewal projects go. Uh, so... I'm going to plot the disease control center. Do I actually have a little bit of room to maybe build a little like run up to it? Because I don't want to place it right adjacent to the road. Maybe I can build like a little, a little street coming up to it. Kind of, kind of like this. Oh, why is it building a bridge now? It's a little strange. Um, I guess I'll just run it right up to this street and then I can probably actually I'll hold off on that oh yeah I still have oh no I don't have enough room shoot just barely okay now it looks like that's probably not gonna be an option so no big deal I'll just place it right up against the street and I'm going to plop it right here. Let's see how this building looks. Well, it does look pretty cool. It's got some helipads over in this corner. Is there any upgrades for this building? I don't think so. No, there's not. Well, I'll say that it certainly looks unique. Actually, you know what? I think I might have enough room I'm, I'm just gonna destroy the building I don't even know what the refund is or anything but I think if I plop a little street maybe at about right here 90 degrees let's try that is that gonna leave me with enough room yes perfect I actually have one more square on either side to fit this building I think this might look a bit better yes I do enjoy that a little bit better. But now how do they connect this up to the main road? I guess I can just do a little something like this. Oof, uh, maybe not. <laughs> there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to convert this into... Oh, I don't have enough room for that. Here, I'm going to destroy this. I'm going to change this into a one-way. Which is a lot wider, but... I think it'll look nice. There, let's do this. And then I'll do like... I'll remove the crosswalks here and then I'll do well no right turn no left turn yeah you can't really make any turns here maybe I'll do like a no left turn here there so that's fine and then I'll take a second here to lay down some paths
I don't really know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm just laying down some paths in a random fashion and just hoping that it looks cool. Uh, but it's totally random. It looks kind of messy, but you know what? That's okay. And then this actually leaves me with a little bit of free space here. Although, now this street is kind of wonky. I think I'm going to remove this. And then I'll just replace those streets with just a proper grid system here. So, like, I'll do 90 degrees. Why does this road look curved? Is it just me? It's probably just me. There. So, I'll do that. And, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it like this. And then I think I'm going to rejig this neighborhood a little bit. Let's have, like, here some mixed zonage with maybe a dash of high density commercial with maybe a dash of high density offices with some more high density commercial there we go so let's get this area properly developing maybe i can replace some of these buildings with offices as well so again we're expanding downtown just a little bit can i build anything between these paths here i don't think that's gonna work out i don't know maybe let's try it I remove these paths and then maybe I can add a path over here no that doesn't really help I was hoping that it was gonna like oh well that's why because there's a path coming right through here there yeah perfect so I got this big old building here um I kind of feel like relocating it, but no, I, I think I'm going to, I'm going to keep it there. And then right in front of it, right beside it here, I'll plop some high density commercial there. So how do you guys like that? How does that look? That looks pretty good. Actually, I think it adds some depth to downtown there. All right. So that is the first building I wanted to get laid down. Now I have a whole bunch of other buildings uh, that I want to get through. One of which I believe is, uh, I don't even know where it is. I think it might be a signature unique building. Is it? Oh yeah, that's right. So we have the one stop station. I just unlocked this off camera uh, just after the last episode. So we, this is basically just a big gas station. It gives plus three wellness uh, within 1.5 kilometers, minus one import cost citywide and plus one attractiveness so we can attract a few more tourists to town and uh oh is there actually commercial suitability oh okay so it's an actual like proper commercial building okay so i think the most logical spot for a building like this would be right by a highway because it's a gas station after all right so motorists that are coming through town will be able to come off the highway and come fill up their vehicles with gas. And uh, I built this little interchange here, roundabouts on each end. It looks very nice. So there we go. It's actually a nice gas station. It looks like a Loves or something. Bumber fuel. <laughs> nice. This is actually a really nicely detailed asset. Cool comes with a car wash and everything all right so we got that building down uh what else do i got um i totally forget where this building is is it here yes the geological blah, blah. <laughs> the geological research center this building gives plus three college graduation chance citywide 200 percent ore deposits and 200 percent oil deposits wow okay this building seems like it's very op and where I am going to place it is over here next to the um, this quarry over here that's in the middle of town. So this, I was actually anticipating building this geological research station um, in this area over here in particular, right next to this mining area. Because, you know, it just makes sense, right? That uh, people can go study geology right next to a giant quarry operation. So I'm going to tie this into the technical college that is right over here so i'm gonna try to make the campus look similar 
by adding these little roads here. And I keep forgetting where this building is. Here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and plop it right here. Again, this is actually a very nice building as well. Nice and modern looking. So I'm gonna try to create a nice little campus area for this building. up over here as well and now I'm gonna add some paths to connect everything up connect but it's okay there we go we got a nice little campus going on nice um looks like we're having a little bit of a medical crisis here downtown oh wait a minute oh this is a death wave never mind i thought this was like waiting on ambulances but it's it's a death wave so they are real interesting well, it doesn't look too bad yet. And let me take a look at my cemetery here. So we got 15 vehicles gathering, well, 13 out of 15 gathering the dead from this downtown cemetery. It's about like one third full, so we're okay in that regard. Um, and the crematorium, oh, okay, only five out of 10 vehicles are in use. So I don't think it's, it's a dire situation yet. We're gonna monitor the situation, but I think it's okay for now. Uh, so let's take a look in our signature buildings to see what we have yet to unlock here. So I don't have anything unlocked at the moment except uh, the chemical plant and oil refinery. So I'll get to those in a little bit. As far as office buildings, we don't have anything. Let's take a look here in the European menu because I think I unlocked a couple things since the last episode. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have a Villa City, old style soda bar with a large rooftop terrace where patrons can enjoy their beverage. Uh, so this gives plus three well-being. Oh, hang on, my cat is on my desk right now and it's a little difficult to uh, make this episode. Uh, okay, so plus three well-being within 500 meters, minus one import cost citywide and plus one attractiveness citywide. And then we have, what? A muscle car garage in Europe? Weird, okay. Um, so yeah, the muscle car garage gives plus three well-being within 500 meters. Oh, basically the same, the exact same perks as uh, as the villa. Uh, okay, well, you know what? I think the muscle car garage, I'll have to see what this building looks like up close, maybe. It'll, it'll help me make my decision. But the first thing that comes to mind is over here by the gas station, just because of the car theme that we have going on over here, right? And, um, well, it looks like a junkyard more than a garage, if I'm honest, but I think it looks okay over here. You know, we got a big old gas station with a garage right uh, across the road, so I think I'm okay with that. Uh, so we got that down. Okay, and now for the villa, I'm gonna go back downtown because this building, of course, is very historic. Oh, look at that, we got some skyscrapers over here. Fortunately, we have two skyscrapers right across from each other. I think they're a little too close together for my liking. So I am going to replace this building in particular. Let's try some European mixed housing. Let's see what this looks like. All right, now for the villa. Now, of course, I'm gonna go more downtown with this building because it looks very historic. And honestly, this is kind of like an old style pub, it looks like. So. I'm gonna put this beside the university because I think this is like 
It looks like the kind of place where students would hang out. Oh, well, it looks like the locals aren't too happy about this, but uh, there it is. There's the building. It definitely looks very European indeed, but it fits quite well here in the city. Now, is there anything I can put here? Not really. Now, next up, I have the oil refinery. And I think it makes the most logical sense to put it in the Quincy Harbor area just due to this being the largest oil deposit on the map. You know, it just makes sense to put the oil refinery where the oil is. Um, so I'm going to try to fit the refinery somewhere in the city. Uh, I'm thinking probably like in this area right here. I'm going to have to demolish an entire neighborhood, but sometimes that's just the way it is. Um, I guess I'll just get rid of these ruins. There's already a set of ruins downtown. But I'm always reluctant to destroy these because you can't really, like, spawn them back. But, yeah, th there's already some on the map. So I'm going to demolish all of this. All of these offices. I'm going to have to move these power lines, too, I'm just realizing. And uh, with this, I'm hopefully, hopefully going to have enough room. Oh, hang on. Let me pause the game real quick. Because I'd like to at least save this little bit. So I'm going to demolish all of this and the power lines. I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to have to move them. And then let's see how the oil refinery is maybe going to fit. Oh, it actually fits. Hang on. Maybe I can just like kind of squeeze it in some way. Oh yeah, okay. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of this neighborhood. Well, it's not a neighborhood, but this uh, little office park. And I'm just gonna run a straight road through this whole thing. I don't want it to be too close to the railroad tracks because it's likely gonna cause some issues. I don't want to have like two intersections too close to each other, but if I try plopping this like this, eh, it's a little bumpy, but not too, too bad. And now for the refinery, look at that guys. It just fits. Boom. There we go. And I think it actually leaves me with a little bit of room to rebuild that office park. But I'm going to have to resize this zone a little bit. So if I just bring this in. Uh, actually, let me turn off snapping. And then I'm just going to squeeze it in a little bit here. We're going to lose a bit of productivity. Well, actually, not really, because I can just do this. Oh, that's right. I'm right on the border. I forgot. Yeah, OK. Well, that looks about right. And then I can build a street that goes up here. And then there's not going to be like an actual full road here, but I'll just build a little street instead with a couple of office buildings in the warehouse variety. And maybe a little dirty industry as well, you know? Some old industry that was here for a long time. There we go. And look at that. I have all this free space here as well. Not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, it would be really cool if um, we had the possibility of putting down some storage buildings. I've been getting a lot of comments about that, and I agree, guys. Some storage buildings would be really cool in City Skylines, too. Uh, I guess what I'll do here is... I guess offices, because it's not suitable for commercial. So offices are all right. Industrial is okay. And I'll just fill in... Fill in the blanks, basically, here. Uh, 
There. All right. Well, that looks not bad. You know, driving along the highway here, you just see these massive oil tanks and stuff. I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't really like that the whole building is blue, though, but all right. Not, not a big deal. And then these power lines. Well, I don't know what to do about this. I don't even know if I can, like, squeeze them between these railroads much farther than, than this. All right. Maybe if I can bring a string of power lines here and then here and oh i can't overlap this building can i no unless i like go here and then through the back like this oh yeah that'll work that's not bad i know these power lines are not really necessary but at the same time they uh where do they go they go over here to this transformer station so they they do provide a link from the city to, you know, the outskirts of the map and whatnot. All right, well, that was a doozy, um, but it's done. And now the only thing that's left is the chemical plant. And I'm pretty sure that's the last building I really intended on putting this episode. The, the new, the last like new building. Oh no, that's right. There's a central intelligence bureau. I want to put this building down this episode too. But other than that, I think that's the last one. So I'm going to head on back over here to Brightwater Crest. And this has always kind of been the dirty old industry area of the city. You know, it's up here on the hill, um, kind of nestled into the forest here. We have a, a trash incinerator plant and we got like the harbor and stuff over here. So I think this is the most suitable location that I can think of to place a chemical plant. You know, it's away from any homes. The wind is heading out to sea. I think I'm gonna put this building over in this region, but I'm gonna have to do a fair amount of terraforming, I think, because the terrain is quite treacherous, I think. Like, let's just take a look here. Yeah, it's kind of a heavy steep, but with a little bit of terraforming, we can, uh, we can fix it up here pretty good. So, do I want to put the chemical plant right next to the water or do I want to kind of put it maybe on top of the hill over here? Hmm. The chemical plant or this uh, incinerator is going to be kind of in the way. Let me, let me just make some changes here. I'm going to pause the game real quick. I'm going to move some power lines around. I'm going to bring these power lines straight out. Okay, these uh, degrees are not really making much sense, but anyway, whatever. I'll just bring them straight out and then connect them up like this. And is that going to give us enough room? Oh, it actually does. Okay, nice. So I think I'll just do a little tiny bit of terraforming here just to get the area nice and flat. I think I'll just probably flatten out this hill, to be honest. There, and there we go. Now that's nothing crazy. And what I will do is plop the chemical plant. You know what, this is gonna totally pollute this water. <laughs> this water is like so dead. But that's okay. I didn't really anticipate using any of it anyway. There's plenty of clean water on the map. There, so I'll build a little road that goes out this way, and then I will build some access roads that actually connect up to the plant. Oh, what's this over here? We got a little bridge. Don't know why that is, but there we go. And then I think, I think in between here is probably a good opportunity to put down just some generic warehouses, generic industry, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna build this road out like this. And then I'm going to line this with just some generic industry, some little offices, just like this. And then this road is going to 
Oh, whoa, why am I up going up to 50 meters here? So I'll hit play, and what I'll do now is just basically fill in some of these blank areas with a collection of commercial space, industries, offices, all that kind of fun stuff. Kind of a challenging area to build in over here, you know, it's full of hills. There, I think I'll leave it at that. Perfect. Well, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. Big old plant here on the hill. So I'm thinking like, what I'm thinking of doing is having like all of this industry, like maybe all of this zone, and then it'll like slowly switch over to residential uh, because I do have forestry that is uh, pretty much lining this entire area. All right, guys. And we're finally at the last building that I'm going to be plopping this episode. And I already have this planned out. I think I'm going to put it somewhere around this interchange. So somebody actually read my mind. One of the comments in my last episode saying that I should put this building near a highway interchange. And what better interchange to put it than over here? Because it's like this building is very weirdly shaped. It's it's a giant circle, literally. And I think it, we can probably get it to fit nice and nestled in into one of these smooth curves here. So I'm going to destroy this segment of road and I want to keep like this little wall going here. So I'm going to try to maybe extend this for a little while following the edge of the road. And I think maybe if I raise it up another couple of meters, is it going to, uh, it's going to turn into a bridge. Yeah. You know what? That looks. That looks half decent. And I think that should leave me with enough room for this building. Yeah, pretty close. Oh yeah, actually it's perfect. Look at that. Oh, okay. So we do have a fair amount of terraforming to do here, it looks like. It's kind of messing up the, uh, <laughs> the parking lot textures. Uh, can I flatten it out after the building's been placed? I don't think there's much that I'm going to be able to do here. Yeah, it looks like I think this is it. Hmm, with this road being here, I might I might actually get rid of this road. And then I'll terraform a bit more here. And then what I'll do instead is relocate this building to like over here I suppose yeah that's gonna be much better and I think what I'll do just to make this look a little more grand I'll have a four lane avenue right here in the middle 90 degrees like that and then we'll have a road going off to either side can I actually like I wonder if I can actually like loop this road around this building. Oh yeah, nice. It looks like I can. However, how challenging is this going to be? Well, actually it shouldn't be too challenging. If I have the simple curve and then I extend it out to maybe about here and then bring this in like this. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, 
I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not, not too fussy about it, but there. Huh, that's actually pretty cool, guys. I don't know what I'm going to put, like, in between here. Maybe just fill it in with trees, I guess. But yeah, there we go. The Central Intelligence Bureau. It looks like a giant stadium, honestly. I know what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to put down a small street like this. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to try to get it pretty good, but... There, I think that's fine. And then I'll remove the crosswalks here and here. And then maybe I can just fill in this blank area with some paths. You know what? This building is giving me like Lumen from the Severance TV show vibes. Like, this is totally what this building is making me think of. Like, it's like, what is really going on in here? Right? There. And then why don't we fill in... Oops. I'm all over the place. Uh, why don't we fill this in with maybe some shrubs. A couple trees. There we go, and then let's smooth out this like so. And there we go, guys. Wow, that actually looks pretty cool. I'm excited to see how this is going to blend into the surrounding neighborhood. I'll have to do some more, maybe maybe a bit more terraforming and, and stuff like that around here. But I think, I think this is good for now. Um, all right, so I think that's pretty much all I wanted to do this episode. It looks like we're about two-thirds of the way through level 17. I'm, I'm excited for a couple of buildings here, one of which is this industrial waste processing site. And uh, maybe a couple more. Large Hadron Collider. That would be a pretty cool building to have somewhere in the city. I have no idea how big this building is. It's probably massive. Uh, so we'll have to shove it off into a corner somewhere. But that is for another episode. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Um, I think I have some plans for next episode. I would like to build something special over here, uh, but I'm not really sure yet. Um, so we'll just have to wait for that. Uh, but yeah. And well, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in particular, don't forget to leave a like down below, drop a comment, and certainly don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of future uploads. So guys, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.